ratio detector CSG RUV button worked on by 3EC Sonam Tenzin, Tenzin Kinchap, Pema Tenzin. Hello everyone. The contents that we will be discussing on this session are number 1 definition, number 2 circuit diagram, number 3 ratio detector basics, number 4 amplitude limiting using ratio detector, number 5 frequency response, and lastly we have the advantages and disadvantages of ratio detector. What is ratio detector? The ratio detector is the demodulator circuit used for FM demodulation. It is commonly used in radio receivers. The ratio detector and foster silly discriminator are identical except one of the diodes conducts in the opposite direction and uses a tertiary winding in the previous transformer. It is able to deliver very good performance. The ratio detector currently has become less popular since it needs to use wound inductors which are expensive to produce. This is the circuit diagram of ratio detector. So now I'm going to uh, explain the circuit diagram. This one is primary, secondary, hard winding on the transformer and audio input. The ratio detector was the most popular because it provides a high level of amplitude modulation rejection. This allows it to provide a greater level of noise immunity as most amplitude noise and it also enables the circuit to operate satisfactorily with low levels of limiting in the preceding IF stages of the receiver. The capacitor C5 charges up as a result of the diodes in acting to provide a stable voltage across the resistor R1 and R2 when a steady carrier is applied to the circuit. The transformer gives the circuit the ability to recognize variations in the incoming signal's frequency. The three windings make it up. The output signal is produced by the primary and secondary acting normally. The primary and the third windings are tightly coupled and the third windings is untuned, which results in the identical signal facing in these two, two windings. There is a little uh, coupling and tuning between the primary and secondary windings. Now, in continuation to Sonam Tenzin, this indicates that the signals in these windings are 90 degrees out of phase with one another at the center frequency. The phase difference will alter as the signal deviates from the center frequency. Due to this, the phase difference between the secondary and third winding also varies. When this happens, the voltage will cause an unbalance across resistor R1 and R2 because it will subtract from one side of the secondary and add to the other. As a result, the third winding experiences current flow and the output displays the modulation. The capacitor C1 and C2 filters any residual RF signal that might cross the resistors and the capacitor C4 and R3 also serve as filters to prevent RF from recapturing the receiver's audio section. So this is the ratio detector basics that we have just explained. So for those that are interested, you can pause and read the notes that we have provided here. This is the continuation of the ratio detector basics. So you can go through this too by pausing it. Amplitude limiting factor. Now let us assume that V1 is an FM input. Now when there is an increase in the V1, it causes the secondary voltage to increase. Now because of this, the extra diode current will start flowing. And then due to that, the load current increases. Although the voltage across the C5 will not change instantaneously, but it will increase gradually. Now this can be considered as a constant. So as load current increases and load voltage across the C5 is constant, then the load impedance effectively decreases. This causes the secondary of input transformer to become heavily damped. 
Now due to this damping, the Q decreases and causes the gain to also decrease. This counteracts the FM input voltage to the ratio detector. Similarly, when V1 decreases, load impedance increases. This causes the damping of the secondary input transformer to decrease. Now from that we can understand that Q increases which causes the gain to also increase to compensate the reduction in amplitude. From this logic we can assume that the ratio detector provides the amplitude limiting by means of a process called diode variable damping. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the frequency response, advantage and disadvantage of ratio detector. First, the frequency response. The frequency response, which is normally seen for an FM demodulator, is an S curve. That is, here we can see that at the center, at the center of the frequency response curve, it's a, a linear section. So therefore, this linear section is called as the useful range. The response, uh, other than the linear section, is called a uh, is severely distorted as it approaches towards the edge. Now the advantages. Uh, the discrete components make it simple to construct. Mm, second point, due to linear phase relationship between the primary and the secondary, it offers a good level of performance and appropriate linearity. Third, the, there is already an intrinsic amplitude limiter, therefore no external limiter is needed. Lastly, the disadvantages of the ratio detector. Number one, the cost of the transformer is high. Number two, it appears to be most effective when used in the circuits with discrete components rather than when integrated into an IC. So, this is the end of our slide. Thank you. So, like, share, and subscribe.